for Werewolf's Guide. Uh, obviously, this guide is going to be an extended video of what and how to deal with your werewolf's theory. Uh, and yes, you might notice that I am Christopher Volkov from the Movie Collective. Obviously, he's the leader of that pack. Obviously, there's two werewolf packs. Um, and yes, you also might be noticing a grave. <laughs> R.I.P. Kurt Drack. <laughs> yes, he's my werewolf that I decided to kill for no apparent reason. <laughs> um, obviously, I did save, so I'm not that worried about it. I can easily bring him back. Um, and, uh, Christopher's sad because of it. Now, back to Fury. Um, now, every werewolf is going to have this new thing called Fury. It's really similar, if you look at it, it's really similar to a spellcaster's spellcaster charge. And that's because it is, but not really. <laughs> um, and there's also Temperaments. Which are similar to a spellcaster's curses. Now, the thing is about werewolves, though, is they have blue uh, temperaments, which are the unique ones compared to the red ones. Um, now, obviously, I want to talk about the red ones first because they're easier to get than the blue ones. Uh, now, as you all know, the temperaments do affect your fury, so that's the reason why I'm going through the temperaments. Uh, so, temperaments are something that your werewolves are always going to get. They get random ones, um, which I really do like. I also really like the theory concept. Uh, before I get into this video, I'm a huge fan, or a fan, <laughs> fan of this uh, theory concept. The reason why is because it's basically your animalistic meter. The higher it gets the more animalistic your werewolf becomes. Uh, and that's what I like about it. So the lower it is, the, the more normal they're going to be. I mean, yeah, they're obviously still a werewolf, yes. But the lower it is, the more human they are. But the higher it is, the more werewolf they are, if that makes sense. I really do hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, but it's basically your animalistic meter. And that's what I freaking love about it. Again, the higher your fury is, the more uh, uh, animalistic your werewolf becomes. Uh, it even says so right here. Uh, fury. And fury envelops werewolves like a beautiful flaming blanket. As fury grows, their animalistic instincts begin to manifest and will eventually take over. Fury gain is constant. So again, constant. You know what that means. It means it goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, and until eventually it, it hits that max point. Causing them to go on a rampage. Um, now again, uh, it's affected by four ways. It makes it go up faster or up slower, which I really do like. Uh, temperaments, which are these. These things right here, right below the theory and right above the needs. These are the temperaments. Um, preferences, the things they like and dislike. So if they're listening to something they, they like then Fury is going to go up slower. If they're listening to something they dislike, or doing something they dislike, that it goes up faster. Um, you guys know. Werewolf, werewolf abilities. So if they do their abilities, for instance, if they scavenge the ground, it causes Fury to go up a little bit. Or if they, you know, sleep under the moon, or do a wolf nap, uh, Fury is going to go up. Um... So again, and the full moon. So of course, that's going to be your new lunar cycle phases. And if it's a full moon, then the full moon is really the strongest because it causes your uh, fury to increase drastically and almost certainly fast anyway. Uh, but again, like I said, the preferences and your temperaments will cause your fury to be uh, affected, either making it go up faster or going up slower. Um, and something else like about the temperaments, if they're good temperaments, which are the blue ones, um, they cause they can also cause your needs to decay slower, which I really do like, or cause your needs to go down faster, uh, or decay faster, as people would say it nowadays. Um, 
Okay, so now, that, that I just want to get out of the way, because how much I just love this concept. You guys saw from my Fury comparison video, uh, on how much I love this concept. I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, that good old modern Good Samaritan uh, werewolf rampage is what this is. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Um, and in my mind, you do get a fair amount of time for werewolf human uh, chatting and all that. And then, yeah, we do have those times to where they do go on a rampage. Yes, I do get it. <laughs> and this is way better than The Sims 3. Like, it's just way better. It does not compare at all uh, to The Sims 3. At all. Like, the Sims 3 werewolves, they can't even go, like, on a rampage. Like, they just can't go and snarl at Sims or go sniffing in. Well, they can sniff in appropriately, but they can't, like, sniff and introduce. Uh, like, I would just like that. Um, and honestly, like, the Sims 3 werewolves, um, they don't have, like, a... Abilities HUD or UI as vamp like vampires do in The Sims 4 as well, and the spellcasters. The spellcasters also get a UI as well. Uh, the spellcasters actually get two UIs. They have their spell book and their uh, spellcaster perks. Uh, but werewolves and vampires only have one, but that's fine because I'm glad they just have at least one. <laughs> um. And there's also dormant abilities as well, which is something you get um, when you do a certain task. But I'm not... Okay, enough of random silliness, okay? Uh, let's actually get into the tip nuts now. Uh, again, there's blue and red ones. Uh, there's blue ones and there's red ones, of course. Uh, I know I probably just said that, but I'm sorry. But, okay, let me rephrase that. Okay, there's red ones and there's blue ones. Uh... Uh, so, let's just do the red ones, red ones first. Now, again, these uh, afflict, inflict your fury, uh, depending on your sim's current emotion, or condition, or need, uh, in this case. So, he has lack of guilt, which means if he is sad, which will also occasionally give them a sad moodlet. Um, obviously, uh, if they're sad, it causes their theory to increase faster, uh, which I really do like. Must be clean, so if they have poor hygiene, uh, theory is going to increase faster. Um, and grumpy wolf, so if they don't get much sleep. Um, not only does the need for, not only does the energy need decay faster, but it also causes your theory to increase more as well. So again, so, I, so these are the three bad red ones. Now, we also have this one blue one. Now, what does this do? It does the exact opposite of what these red ones do, and it causes your fury to go up slower, as well as certain need decays slower as well. So, again, this can be hunger, it can be energy, it can be, again, really cool. You can only get these blue ones by a certain ability, uh, and that is the Lunar Howl ability, which is gained at Apex. Uh, now, do note, when, once you use a Lunar Howl, it imme immediately causes your werewolf to go on a rampage. Uh, to go on a rampage. But it is worth it, because you could get some blue uh, temper mesh, which causes your uh, fury to go up slower, um, and cause certain need decays to go to up, uh, down slower as well, uh, which I really do like. Uh, I mean, obviously, the full moon is unavoidable. Uh, unless you really want, um, you know, go right here to your environment. Um, it's here at the seasons now as well, so again, you have the lunar cycle and the seasons here. Which I really do like. Um, uh, and just like seasons, you can change the lunar cycle length. Uh, so you can change the season length. Uh, which I really do like as well. Now, there's eight phases in total, and so that means every day it's going to change uh, to that phase. Uh, you can set permanent phases, so you can make it to where it's always a full moon, always a new moon, always a crescent moon, uh, any of those. But if it's a full moon, so, uh, for example, full moon, 
uh, we can set that permanent phase where every night werewolves will go absolutely bonkers if they don't have the winter resistance uh, power. Uh, and I did not mean that. Uh, obviously, I want that disabled because I don't want that. Uh, and we can also disable the lunar uh, effects, which I always always don't have it disabled. So again, uh, basically, uh, you, this causes your werewolf's fear to go up naturally if you have this checked because it dis it disables it. Kind of similar to the uh, temperature effects if you have seasons. So if you have this unchecked. Uh, temperature is not affected to your sims at all. So if it's like, if it's freezing, if they're out on a skirt, they they they, they don't care. Like they don't they don't care at all. Um. So again, figure I'd show that as well. So right now it is a win and gives this, which right now that means it's increased handiness. <laughs> uh, so it's the night directly after a full moon. So again. Uh, that's really cool as well. But again, that's pretty much how Fury works for werewolves. Like I said, all werewolves will have this new thing called Fury, as well as temperaments, which are like spellcaster curses. Uh, if I go to, actually, if I go to Daryl here, um, you can see the similarities. Like, look at this for the needs. Like, look at that. You can see the sim uh, similarities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here is uh, Jacob Valkov. So that's Christopher's son. Uh, actually, his fury is actually quite high right now. <laughs> I forgot to uh, mention that. Um, or I forgot to even show you guys. So you can see that uh, Jacob's is actually really high. Um, and if I were to go right here, go to Christopher. Um, I get normal interactions. Uh, I do as well for Jacob, but... Uh, or do as well for Jacob, but still, uh, you get less, uh, especially because he's sad, um, uh, I also ask for sympathy, which I don't know why I would do that, <laughs> honestly, right now, anyway, for two reasons, one is he's getting high, and it's only going to get higher, <laughs> and two, he's going to be going on a rampage, so, again, I really love this concept, I really do, and there's not really any negatives about it, uh, at all, because it goes up fast, uh, naturally, but if you do the Lunar Howl, yes, it causes your werewolf to go on a rampage immediately, but once that rampage is done, uh, if you get those blue temperaments, uh, which are the unique ones, there's four of them, there's four blue ones, and there's 18 red ones, so again, that's actually, no, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, did I get that wrong? Yeah, I got that right, yeah, I got that right, so there's 22 temperaments in total. 22, um, which is over double, uh, the curses for spellcasters, because spellcasters only have 9 curses, while werewolves have 22 temperaments. <laughs> that is a ridiculous amount for, uh, werewolves, in my opinion. And each time they wake up, they get an extra one, so, uh, for starters, uh, once you start off with a pup, you only get one temperament, and each time you rank up to veteran, uh, from pup to veteran, you get a new one. So at Veteran, you don't get any more uh, after Veteran. So if you rank up to Apex, you don't get a fifth one. You can only have up to four. Um, and right now, uh, Jacob is a Prime, so he only has three. Um, he has Easily Excitable, Hungry Like the Wolf, and Hates Being Wet. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, you're, you're getting an extra fairy now because you're in the tub. Idiot, you're going against your temperament. I'm wet and I hate it from werewolf temperaments. <laughs> this sensation is horrible. How does Sims enjoy this? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's so freaking that's so messed up. Has to pee. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little short guide for you guys for the Werewolf's Fury. Uh, if you have werewolves, of course, it's, it's exclusive to werewolves. You have to have werewolves for this. Um, and again, Fury is their special thing. All werewolves will have this. Similar to spellcasters, they will always have their spellcaster charge. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Uh, it's like an extended guide for a Werewolf's Fury. Because uh, I've done like something like this in the past. I just forgot what it was. Uh, 
again, let me know in the comments of what it is, because I did forget. Um, and like I said, that's how theory works, and this game is for werewolves. <laughs> and werewolves will only have this, so not any other occult will have this. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace out.